after we spoke now about, you know, uh, about that actually the Germans, they don't know so much about the Dutch scene, you know, of the, of the guys that, that, that are really, you know, that, that have something to tell. And uh, so I came to you, Rob. Okay, thank you. And uh, and, compliment. I, yeah. and I wanted to ask you, how many years are you already coming to Zwolle? Oh, this is my first year. It's your first year. <laughs> the, the, the famous Dutch angler for the first year. Now, it has a history, of course. You know, I'm fishing for, I think, over 45 years on carp right now. And then the early years, I visited a lot of uh, beurs like Zwolle. So I was on quite a lot of events in the past. So I've seen it all. So on this year, I'm standing here for my own book. So I had a good reason to visit uh, a bird again. That's right. Nice. And we zoeken nu om 5 uur de te verlaten. Dat was bij mij niet anders met mijn box. Daar ben ik ook zo. Dat is een beurs. Dat wil ook op een beurs met die vissers. Nee, maar wat, 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 uh, ja, mag ik het tussen door nemen? Ik ga verder. Oké. Okay. Ik ga verder hier um, so, so the question, you know, you said you're, you're fishing for carp 45 years. Yeah, at least, yeah. At least. My first carp, I, I caught my first carp in 1972. Uh, I, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> I was four years, okay. four years later I was born. Okay. So, but you're standing now here with your book. So yeah. obviously your, your, your love for carp yeah. never faded. No, never faded. Never no. faded. I think for, so, uh, I've seen, if I may interrupt. Yeah, yeah, of course. That people who, who keep on fishing, uh, the, the, the people who fish quite a lot, like I've done, you know, you can't always be at the top. So you have have to be. Uh, it's all at like this. It goes up, it goes down. A few years more interest in the in the fishing stuff. I fished for four or five years on sea. To do after 25 years something different. You know, after 25 years, around 2000, I always tell tell people this story. I fished from uh, 1972 on carp and then I caught quite a lot for that time very big carp, the biggest carp you, you could catch in Holland. So what's there to do next? So I visited Florida and I, uh, um, I found a complete different type of fishing there. You know, a complete different from all we know with uh, I think over 40 species, over 100 pounds that are inhabiting there. I was there for a tarpon. It's a fish that's much powerful than than a carp ever was. It was complete different adventures. And when I came back from uh, Florida, I asked myself, uh, so what I've still to do with uh, this carp fishing? So for a few years, I took uh, some other fishing, sea fishing, uh, uh, combined with uh, food, with fish, catching your own food. I like to cook. But you know, blood runs where, that's why I say in Holland, uh, blood runs where it can't go. So um, the carp was there again and I uh, still fish for carp, still love carp, always love carp. What, what do you think is the essence now? I, I will go about not only carp fishing, but fishing in general. What is the essence that was driving you to go to the, to the water side? Uh, what is it that, that is... That is that you're searching it's, for. It's, no, it's, it's, it's never, I think it's still the same as when, uh, uh, this book, you know. And uh, the first lines in the book are about my childhood when my father taught me fishing. And it was uh, a meeting with miracles, with unknown world in the water. I think that, that mystery, that's the essence of fishing something new, something you never experienced before. That you can't see. You can't, you can't see, some things you can't comprehend. That's I, I, not, not the known things, it's not just kilos. Fishing is not just about kilos, it's a different world, you know. It's an escape world, and I think that's the essence of fishing. Nice. And, and my last question would be, you know, there, it's about the future and the youth as well, and, and the, the people that are maybe just, you know, not so long in fishing like you are and what what do you think what what will preserve them the joy of fishing and what dangers are there that could destroy them the joy of fishing uh, that say no to say don't understand if they don't understand what is the essence of fishing so fish perhaps for 10 years as if as they do think it's all about 20 kilos 25 kilos then you can uh, tell them when their when their end date is near you know then they lose their interest for 
So, so they catch that fish or not, but you never understood why should you be outside on the water doing your thing, seeing seeing uh, birds, animals, the rest, your, your rest for your for yourself. And fishing is just part of it. It's not the main thing to just catch a fish. Every every fisherman I know uh, appreciates the uh, other things besides catching a fish at least as much as uh, the big fish, for instance. You no, know, it's fishing is so complex, it's so big, and it's not just about a big fish. That's what you have to see. And if and if you do that, I think you keep on fishing for the whole for the rest of your life. <laughs> I totally agree. Thanks, okay. Rob. Thank you very much.